we were actually supposed to jump on a plane and go to Austria and to ski in the Alps. But uh, we ended up getting hosed on the weather and changed tickets. Four or five days later, we are on a plane to Japan. Yeah, right, we're here, uh, we just landed in Tokyo, and uh, it looks like it's storming outside, so that's a good thing. We're here to ski pow after all. Our ski bags might be too many centimeters too long. She said uh, she's gonna get us on the plane, and she's gonna try to squeeze our skis on the plane, but if they don't fit, then she's gonna send them there first thing in the morning. So, cool. I guess that's all we can do right now. Here. Well, Bruce's nap was in English, but <laughs> just got here. We got our hotel last night. We're gonna stay in Sapporo one more night. We all thought our bags weren't gonna make it, but they ended up making it. We've just been flying by the seat of our pants, basically, chasing the snow, following the good conditions. We're gonna shoot up this road, maybe check out something over here in this area from the other side that we got turned around on the first day. It's our last day of sun for a while. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, so we're uh, getting a pretty late start, but hopefully gonna ski. Yes, no, maybe. All I need to hear from you. Things go crazy. She's lost herself and lost to you. Now that nothing's spoken, she's out there on the ice again. I've been to this place in Japan. This is my fifth time to Japan. As soon as I started traveling and seeing how big the world actually is and how much you can learn, I'm definitely hoping to travel for the rest of my life. You guys want to see what's over the next hill? Finally got one huge powder day at a uh, local ski resort outside Sapporo. That kind of started things off in the right direction. We started getting really fired up and stoked, and we had some fun runs to start with. And it was a, the perfect, you know, perfect day. I'd say the thing I look forward to most about being on the road and traveling is just that whole feeling of un the unknown and knowing also deep down that you're probably going to be discovering a lot of things that you never knew or had never seen before. Basically when I'm on the road and traveling I'm just trying to soak in as much culture as possible. Each culture in each country is totally different, has completely different views on life, and you can learn a lot from people. I try to pick up the language the best I can, and I try to interact with the people and just learn as much from them as possible. My favorite part of Japan so far is the Fermented beans. Mm, mm, bean goo. There you go. Oh, yeah. Japan wins for a weird food award. What do we got going on here? Shopping. I don't know what to get. What should I get? It's got to taste pretty good, huh? Got to have some like dry food snacks, right? I just, which one to get? Uh, that one looks like it's got beans in it. Generally, they eat pretty good food. A lot of times there's some weird stuff, but you can get around it. Oh, they got two eyeballs each, those little guys. Rice triangles. Look at that. This is good stuff. So, rundown, day four. We are getting in the routine of skiing. It's pretty exciting. Some mountains over there. Yeah. We're out here in Japan on, what pass is this? Something toge, which means pass in Japanese. 
and we found a bridge. We built a sick little jump off it. Snow's pretty decent, not as deep as we'd prefer, but it's still pow. kind of far eastern part of the North Island, so we're kind of actually a little bit away from the majority of the population. A lot of the time there's like no one around. It's been really cool just looking out into the mountains and you know it's been really really quiet and silent. It's a really cool thing to be out of your element, to not be in that familiar routine like you are at home. I feel really lucky and fortunate to be a skier because we do travel the world. You get to see a lot of ways that other people live. When I start traveling, I'm able to uh, learn about different cultures and try different foods and basically try and become more worldly, which is something I definitely enjoy about travel. Since I know how amazing traveling is and how cool going to different places is, then I think if I stopped skiing right now and kind of reset myself, I would definitely travel more than I do right now. <laughs>